Y'all ready to be mad at me again, bitch? Ooh, <laughs> call me ugly. <laughs> Tell me shut up again. <laughs> Y'all silly. What it is, hoes? I'm just leaving pissed, eh? Hey. What's the deal? It's your boy Ronnie the Boss, multi platinum and Grammy Award winning producer of Lil Wayne on the card of three. Plies, Lil Boosie, Mr. Magic, Rocco, the list just goes on, you know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with my girl, Amber Alert, on the takeover on the AATI Network. Hey, it's Riff, you rocking with Gemini the Queen. What up, man? It's your boy DJ Nothing Nice, Demi on DB, Orlando, Florida. You know, the Pass up the That's how we get there. Grammy member, engineer, producer, RIAA member. You know, just an uh, entrepreneur worldwide. You know, just rocking, doing what we do right here. You know what I'm saying? With your home girl, Gemini, the queen, Amber Lake. You know, we just, we just, we just do what we do. You know what I'm saying? We do the big boy things. You know what I'm saying? Doing the big boy things. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do the big boy things. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Holla at your boy, man. DJ Nothing Nice, man. We in here, man. Let's go. Six inches. That's not good. I keep a close eye when the door out. Then it's not up in the S today. Me and you been solid like the app. Me and you, Frosty, Roger the Rabbit, the Bugs D. You understand me, rap wrist like mummies. If you compare me to your local social B, then you'll see I got more carrots than I'll be. More bread than I'll be. The bag is candy. Sure, like I'll be. Meet the ticks in Maui. Underlay, underlay, mommy, eat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your girl Gemini the Queen with DJ Amber Alert. Oh, DJ Amber Alert, always by my side. Hood certified. And today, oh, I hate to tell you, we're here because of Nelly. Now, look, what's crazy about this is this shit happened five years ago, 2017. And, um, Nobody really talked about it that much. Uh, that's why it's coming back up as if it just happened. This shit didn't just happen. These little girls are now grown ups. Okay. So, whatever. Now I'm on Nelly's ass. I mean, it's just that simple. So, everybody that's upset when I be telling the business of the business, go ahead and get your typing fingers ready, ho. We're diving down the rabbit hole. So let's start here. 
in the long lost pits of YouTube. Seven years ago, if anyone remembers, Nelly got pulled over and um, while he was on his tour bus, they found reaver guns and motherfucking meth. So, <laughs> you don't remember, let's hit Tim Black TV up real quick so he can tell us because, like I said, it's in the long lost streets of YouTube. The shit is barely findable. So, let's hear about this first because meth, Nelly, you do meth, baby? Is that what's that? In Tennessee, they pulled him over for a sticker that went right on his tour bus. And what do they do? They smell marijuana. Much marijuana. So they board the bus. They find marijuana and rocks. Not crack, but they found methamphetamine. Oh, it comes in rocks. To black people, that's that stuff that was in Breaking Bad. Because we don't really do yeah, meth sorry. like that, do we? I hope not. They also find guns and ammunition. Several guns and lots of ammunition. Nelly so his lawyer says, hey, hey, don't worry about it. They bond, they bond Nelly out. Uh, Is anybody out there dumb enough to think Nelly going to actually go to jail for this shit? He's going to tell. <laughs> Come on, man. There's no way in the world Nelly going to go down over some weed, man. Come on, weed? man. Everybody that's on the tour Why bus, he forgot about the anybody man? that works for him, they yeah. all know their job. The jobs are do what they told and, and then take the charge. Take a charge if need Ooh. be. That's the rules of being on a rapper's tour bus. Ugh. Man, look, this is the way I see it, man. Ugh. If you work for Nelly and you won't take a charge, you ain't got a reason to be in it. Facts. They gonna find your ass at the bottom of a lake or something. Right. Right the hand and feed you, you out for it's life. Over. Done. That's a joke. Well, come on, man. Nobody gets in trouble for weed on a bus. If, if I had $10... Why is he still rapper, talking about the weed? He's killing me. He's irking me. Person gets in trouble for drugs is DMX. It's like he... Rest busted. in peace, DMX. I don't get it. But now, back to Nelly, man. Look. First of all, he looked high in this picture. <laughs> so I'm not going to try to say he's innocent. I'm just saying he ain't going to go to jail. And look. What a damn cool... Incidents that that man said. Hip hop artist Nelly spotted in the midstate, but this wasn't for any concert. He was in a Putnam County courtroom this afternoon to face several charges stemming from an arrest back in April. New Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes was also there, and Jennifer, this turned out to be a pretty good day for Nelly. Yes, Carrie, he was in a very good mood. The district yeah. attorney told us that they treated him like any other Putnam County resident, but we all know he has a lot more under his belt than most of us do. Oh, she looked real excited to be talking about Nelly. She crushing. He's been producing multiple yeah. number one hits for over a decade. Kelly Rowland. He's on tour. <laughs> we all know him as Nelly. But back in April, Nally. his fans got to know him by his real name, Cornell Haynes. Cornell. After he was arrested in Putnam County. State troopers claim they found pot, meth, and guns inside his tour bus. His attorneys dismissed those claims. And Friday, Haynes went before a judge to learn the most serious charge, a felony charge, will be dropped. After we oh, investigated wow. the case, uh, fully and sent those uh, that substance off to the Tennessee Crime Ooh. Lab, it was discovered that it was not methamphetamine. What? And in fact, the, the maximum charge Mr. Haynes was guilty of were Class A misdemeanors. Haynes walked what? out of court with only 11 months and 29 days probation. Bitch. His attorneys <laughs> say the two misdemeanors will eventually be dropped. Uh, this was exactly what we were hoping for, and I think it was a very fair disposition. Uh, oh, I have no, no. no doubt whatsoever that... Um, after this year's time, that after the diversionary program is completed, there'll be nothing on, on Mr. Haynes' record. He's expected to be in France Mr. this Sunday to continue his tour. And from the sounds of in today's France. outcome, it's possible we might see him back in the that States under different circumstances. I think exactly what happened, exactly what we thought would happen. And um, Tennessee is a great place, and I love it. <laughs> uh, if you remember, there was another man in that tour bus that was arrested and charged with weapons possession. And I, I asked the DA about that. He told me that the charges against that person were also dropped what? because he didn't have a past criminal history. Reporting Shut live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Jennifer Reyes, Ooh. News Channel 5. Oh, damn. Hell nah. Damn. 
T.I. couldn't even get away with that. Shit, you had, he had to make two, two, two tips and everything. And he wasn't even in Georgia when he committed his motherfucking crimes. He was in the O. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Anyway, so moving on to different things. Nelly was on stage quite a few times. He, you know, they get people from the audience, from the crowd. They make them feel real special, sing to them, stuff like that. So in 2017, we have multiple videos of Nelly over here singing to children, asking them about school. I'm going to tell you what this nigga said. Welcome, little girl, to the stage. Okay, he didn't say that. Okay, he said, look what I found. How are you? What's your name? Lord, how are you? How old are you? You're 16 years old. Okay, check this out. Listen and hear me well. Each and every one of y'all that came out here. Let me rewind that back. Let me rewind that back. Lord, how are you? What's your name? Lord, how are you? How old are you? you She's holding her hand very tight. Okay, check this out. Listen and hear me well. Each and every one of y'all that came out here to show some love today, I really and truly honor and appreciate it, definitely from the bottom of my heart. A lot of y'all out there grew up with Nelly, a lot of y'all got a lot of special moments with Nelly, and that's dope. I don't know why people be mad at me. They do it to themselves. Allow me to share those with you. But the impression I make on Lauren tonight, yeah. and everybody just like her and younger than her that came out here right now. What? That's what's going to allow Lauren to be here for another 18, 19, 20 years, man. Huh? Excuse me? So, considering like this is dedicated to all the underage children in here. here. There's all this crowd and all these people. I want to do something just for you. And for people just like you, all the young people and all the people that came out and they see the Nelly on the streets and Nelly for the first time, I hope I make a great and lasting impression. So I'm going to do something just for you and everybody else. Protect the children. Like Can I do that? One time. No, one time. Uh, ain't this what he was just saying when he was high as fuck on stage and demon possessed me? This must be his demon sound. He said, you like school? She said, kind of. Do you like your teacher? Fucking weird. Huh? Why are you singing a love song to a child? Ah! Ew, he's playing in her hair and got his head on her head all up in her face, bruh. Ew. Ugh. Ugh. Whoever thought somebody was cute as hell till one day. <laughs> well, no. In case y'all don't know, I do not have visuals on my show on YouTube because YouTube is just where my show goes <laughs> if I give it to y'all. Okay. I heart. Spotify. Acast. Spreaker. All kinds of shit. Boo! Ew, he kissed her! Thank you for another round of applause for him. This. I need a break, bitch. Who gets XXS is royal? I'm I 
done with you, Nelly. I'm lost and I'm found, but it's such a pain in love. I love when you're around, but I fucking hate when you All right, y'all. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get back to what we need to cover. <sighs> so, also five years ago, Nelly was da, 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 drum roll. Nelly was arrested on Saturday. We broke the story on the website, and it was really stunning when we got a word that this happened. Uh, arrested for second degree rape in Washington State. Oh, um, this is a, a a very contentious story because as much as this woman is saying she was raped, uh, Nelly is saying this woman is a fame whore. She is out for publicity. <laughs> She's out for money, Smell and like she is Trace lying. Sounds. And they say they can Smell already real prove pussy. that. So here's what we know. Um, Happened after a show. It happened after a show in Washington, uh, early early in the morning on uh, early Saturday morning. Early Saturday morning. Early Saturday morning. It was after his performance. They were at a club, and we've spoken to a lot of people close to the accuser. And her story is that her and her friend met him for the first time that night. They were at his table, got tipsy. Afterwards, the accuser was invited on his uh, to the after after party, which happened to be on his tour bus. She went in his room on the tour bus, and he had tried to hook up with her. She said no, but he told her, you know, Sh be quiet, just shut up, and then wanted to engage Ooh, in sex that. with her Ooh, without yeah, protection. And at that moment, she said that she didn't feel comfortable, but he tried to calm her down, I mean, and it ended racist. up happening. And she said against, that against your will, will. She says. right? Right, what what she's saying, and she said that afterwards on the tour bus, after everything was done, a girl came up to her and said, "You gotta go," kicked her off of the bus, uh, and uh, uh, they threw a hundred a hundred dollars at her. Now she supposedly then went right, to the police, and you had went to the hospital, the they did a rape kit on her, and about three, I believe it was like three forty-five in the morning, they went and they arrested Nelly, uh, presumably on his tour bus, uh, and uh, <laughs> he was booked at about seven o'clock in the morning, released a short time later. Later, his oh, lawyer God. came out swinging. Oh, did he? Um, I spoke yeah. with him on the phone. He was living, living at this woman, saying she's a liar. Yeah, saying that uh, that she's <laughs> greedy, that she is uh, vindictive, um, which I thought that was an interesting choice of words, vindictive, because it makes it right. seem like Why is it something vindictive? Yeah. Yes. Um, That's and they bit. think that, that she's doing this purely to get uh, to get attention, to and, get and, and well, what's her name? he told me they have already put a private investigator on this and there is information they have on her that they say will conclusively prove she's a liar. So Nelly is not going to just go down without a fight on this thing. He is yeah. going to fight this tooth and nail. Oh, he looks yeah. like he's an old man to me now. Just an old nasty man. Anyway. All right. So, OK. Boom. We hear about that. It's like, oh, shit. But, you know. It's the industry, you know, lots of people get falsely accused of stuff, you know what I'm saying? You can't run, even though y'all keep telling, believe everybody that's a woman when she speaks, even though it don't make no sense, still believe. So, you know, I'm on the side of uh, having common sense and using your brain, right? And so with that, you need to look into it. But the thing is, just like the people I've mentioned, if you didn't check out the episode about T.I. and Tiny that I made, go check it out. I have an actual person that experienced them trying to get their teenage cousin on the tour bus. Okay. Anyway. 
the point is, once you have these same accusations over and over and over, it's like, well, what's really, uh, you know, because yeah, everybody that's a rapper is not accused of being a pedo and a rapist. So, eh. Back to TMZ, because they have all the Nelly's, business. Uh, alleged rape case up in Washington State. Uh, you know that uh, prosecutors... So it is a case, isn't it? It is. Well, it is a case, because she is still suing him. So it's a rape... It's not an alleged rape case. It's a rape case. It's it's a, a, it's you don't need the word alleged a, thank for you. that part. Just... They lost all Beautiful. of their integrity over the last oh. five years because they part? rode with that Whoa, bullshit wow, that's a all day point. now. Wow. I think it's kind of crazy. Okay, all right, I'm going to start picking up right Here's the thing. Uh, anyway, prosecutors dropped the case last month uh, mainly because the accuser uh, said she was not going to testify against Nelly. So they felt they didn't have enough of a case. They dropped it. Now police are releasing uh, all the evidence that they gathered. Too, photos, I not want to go to videos... Uh, and, and and more details the about the news. accusations. Uh, they released these photos. Uh, this is Nelly in handcuffs outside his tour bus. Uh, they also released surveillance video. Remember, the tour bus was parked in the parking lot of a uh, Walmart, I think right, it was. Right. Uh, and you they had surveillance at video from the Walmart. Now, this is surveillance video outside the club in Seattle where they met. So that's, that's Nelly leaving with Monique Green the accuser. Oh, and now this is the surveillance video. The uh, SUVs pull up. She okay. gets on the bus. This is it. You can see 2.30 in the morning. Uh, 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 and that's when the alleged rape happened. Um, so no they, at some point, as, as Nelly and Monique both Ladies. agree, uh, she left the bus. <laughs> she says up. that she was Don't thrown off. Just they, they threw some money at her. Uh, and they like threw money. Now, uh, Nelly says that she left because she was upset, Rich and thinking that he power, was power hooking up with someone else on the crazy. bus. Uh, and he says Take he handed her $100 so that she could that? pay for her Uber ride. Uh, this is the Uber pulling up what you mean, to no, pick her you up. She actually get, gets in the car, but she didn't mm-hmm. leave. She got in the car Hicks. and from the car called police, who then showed up and ended up arresting Nelly. So. Yeah, yeah, but Charles, she tells a very different story in these documents than he tells. She says that uh, they went to the back room. She was pushed onto a bed. He forcibly removed her clothes and started having sex with her. Um, she believed that he ejaculated inside of her. No. And, uh, there was this a lot side of it. His side is very different. Yeah, he says that uh, she what was there it? completely consensually. Uh, that they had sex. So well, I don't think there's. Her. I don't think either of them disputes that she ass. showed up on the bus you consensually. I think it's what happened inside the bus. Right. He's ass. saying that the sex they had was consensually right. was consensual, uh-huh. uh, and that he, he actually told officers that he did not ejaculate. Uh, and it. says that he uh, that she only left, like I said, that she left because she was mad about another woman. And and, and she mentioned nothing about that. even though the criminal case is gone. Uh, she also has a what? civil case. She has sued him for defamation and for sexual assault. Nelly, uh, of course, denies that, that this was a rape, and he has vowed that he will countersue. Well, what, what, what I'll probably countersue for is malicious prosecution and usually the no. complete disposition of the other case in his favor. This so is five years once old, that bitch. happens, he could probably turn around and sue for malicious prosecution. Diddy! Diddy! All right, now let's go to the breakfast club. Wait, I didn't hear you, Angela, before she left. Five years ago. Two more women have accused Nelly of sexual assault in Jesus a lawsuit Christ. that was filed by Moni Green, the college student that says, uh, who says that Nelly raped her on his tour bus after a concert. Now, these My allegations bad. are yes, also charged. included in an amended complaint that was filed on Monday by Monique Green's attorney. She's seeking damages for defamation and emotional trauma. She's also requested an injunction against Nelly and his penis. That prohibits what? Her from sexually what? assaulting Whoa. female fans in the future. So what? They named Nelly's penis and, and Nelly. I'm confused you, with that. I knew you were going after Nelly's penis. Confused that. You I'm see me? Hold on. Did everybody in the room see me looking exact right at DJ? I said, about to go back to Nelly's penis. Because I didn't know. I, I didn't. I never heard I'm that before. I, 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 have you ever heard that before? No. It, it, that's it, crazy. Well, you know what? I, 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 just, I don't know. I'm confused. A lot of things we probably yeah, never heard before that are happening now. But things that I don't understand, I'm just going to say I don't know. Well, people, a year later, another accuser. Blue Mag. What is in here? 
Another woman has come forward on hard with sexual assault accusations against Nelly. English authorities have launched a sexual assault investigation against Nelly. According to TMZ, the 43-year-old rapper has been accused of forcing a female fan to perform oral sex on him following his concert at Cliffs Pavilion in Essex, England. Uh, the you're just all over the world. On December 5th, oh, Nelly gonna get a Rico. After she Monique get international claimed Rico. Nelly had raped her on his tour bus in Washington. Oh. Nelly's latest accuser said she had met him backstage where they reportedly posed for a picture together. The unidentified woman claims Nelly then asked her and her friends to join him in his dressing room. However, shortly after they arrived, he allegedly took the woman into another room next door where he began masturbating in front of her. Oh, God. She said he also tried kissing her and pulling her top off before he pushed her head down and forced his penis into her mouth. Oh, hell no. The woman told TMZ she got up and fled the room at that point, which prompted Nellie to call her the C-word. The alleged victim said she initially refused to report the incident to police, as she feared no one would believe her. Nellie's lawyer, Scott Rosenblum, has denied yeah, the latest claims. <laughs> These allegations arose after Ms. Green, sick, amended her suit for money to include a reference to these claims. The fact that the police are investigating these claims is not new information and Nellie welcomes a thorough investigation, he told TMZ. Nellie is confident that once investigated, these claims will be determined to be disingenuous. Nellie was accompanied by his girlfriend during this tour and she was at his side throughout. It is important that police investigate every allegation of this nature. Yeah, On October 8, 2017, it's... Nelly was arrested in Auburn, Washington on suspicion of second-degree rape. Prosecutors eventually dropped the case after his accuser, Green, refused to comply with authorities. However, nearly four months after the alleged incident occurred, Green requested an injunction against Nelly to prevent him from assaulting other women. Green's attorney, Karen K. Kohler, later revealed she had been oh, in contact goodness. with other... Uh, is he himself? Oh, is he plans? He was like 14 I'm when he started saying, learning that's what, Man, listen, man. Oh, God. No, no. Uh, is he himself? Is he playing somebody? Is a character? Is it real? There's a lot, you know? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very happy that we got to do it, and shouts out to my guy, Eric Newman. TMZ. Okay. Monique <laughs> Green is the woman who accused Nelly of rape. Uh, she alleged that this happened back in, in 2017 uh, aboard one of his tour buses uh, that they met in a club. She went back to the bus and bear, bear, bear. She, him rape. she sued him. He was. He she, was she says that um, he she was forced um, to do oral and vaginal oh, intercourse, God, and then he threw her off the bus and threw a hundred dollar bill at her. Right. Uh, by the way, the throwing off the bus and the throwing the money at her uh, was captured on surveillance video. He that says happened. this was all consensual. Yes. And you know, <laughs> the two of them were like this. She sued him, and he, and sued, he sued, her. sued her back for defamation. Uh, both of those suits have now been dismissed uh, at the request of Nelly and the request of Monique Green because they reached a settlement. Uh, now, this is where it gets interesting. So we broke yeah. the story this morning that there was a settlement. Uh, uh -huh. Nellie's people reached out to us and they wanted to include uh, this statement from a statement that attributed to Nellie's legal team. Sounds that like said an excuse. They, have, they both agreed to drop their suits and no money changed hands. So wanted to make that clear. Yes, they want to make clear Fucking that there was no liar. money changed hands. But then things get kind of weird because then Monique's uh, lawyer reached out to us and said, yes, the case was dismissed, but the part about money not exchanging hands isn't accurate. Exactly. So basically said, said that was yeah. a lie. And, um, now, the issue here is... Um, you know, usually when there are these there's settlements, there's no people if you show. get hush money. So that's the basic well, the, situation there, here. There's a confidentiality agreement. But the on confidentiality both sides. is on both sides, and, and it's certainly. And obviously, Monique's lawyer needs to come on board with Nelly's side because clearly, I mean, he sat there and said the situation was not rape at all, and then therefore she dismissed the case. But yet, why do you even want to throw in the money part? They both dismissed. She dismissed hers, and he dismissed hers. Neither side normally 
They're not, saying to, anything. they're not allowed to say anything normally. There's always a confidentiality. And the reason money is important is because if Nelly paid money, it suggests that maybe he did something wrong, although that isn't true. Yeah. But that's the way people interpret it. Uh, yeah, a lot of times it's dismissed for it's nuisance true. value, but a lot of people look at it when money exchange hands, they, you know, there's something there. It's clear that and that's money's... why they've been... And that's what the lawyer is trying to insinuate by saying that, which is crazy. Why is that but, crazy? Yeah, but also prosecutors drop the case as well because... The criminal case, yeah, yes. the criminal case because Monique wouldn't cooperate, so I mean... Wouldn't cooperate. I don't like how they say that. Wouldn't cooperate versus I do not want to take the stand and testify and go through all of that trauma. It's two different goddamn things. That don't mean shit. What the fuck? Oh, God. Check this out, people. I look forward to your anger. Uh, I'm on Nelly. I'm on his ass. The people have asked me. The people have talked. So I'm going to be talking. As to anything else that I mother can do. Alright? So with that being said, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. It was good knowing you, buddy. It was it good knowing you? I mean, you wasn't that... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that serious. But I'll let you get I'll let you get one more go. See you later, Nelly. See you later, assholes. If you Farewell, Nelly. Woke up this morning, yawning, your phone is blowing up, they say, let's go out tonight, the look up, Versace, you bought it, your closet, for this her occasion, you gon' look amazing tonight, play that play with, getting ready with your best friend, shouting you a gift and blessing, downtown with your presence, ID in your pocket, didn't even bring no pop, cause you ain't worried about the pain for nothing, cause it's your birthday, girl, the day your mama brought you into this world. She gave you just a little more shake. This is two months ago. Today you can never take it in your teeth. Oh, yeah. Tonight's your night. There's only ten for some random guy. Forget the hips watching you act the fool to the last song. It's your bash that you smash in the sash home. Cause it's your birthday, girl. Happy birthday, girl. Let them know. You know how to work your backside. Genius. Did y'all know Mono still exists? <laughs> What's the deal? It's your boy riding the box, multi platinum and Grammy Award winning producer of Lil Wayne on the card three. Plies, Lil Boosie, Mr. Magic, Rocco, the list just goes on. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with my girl, Amber Alert, on the takeover on the AATI network. Riff, you rockin' with Gemini the Queen. What up, man? It's your boy DJ Nothing Lights, WRDB, Atlanta, Florida. You know, the country lifestyle, that's how we get there. Grammy, 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 R-I-A-A member, you know, just an entrepreneur worldwide, you know, just rocking, doing what we do right here, you know what I'm saying, with your home girl, Gemini the Queen, on Amber Alert, you know, we're just, we're, just, we're just doing what we do, you know what I'm saying, we're doing the big boy things, you know what I'm saying, doing the big boy things, you know what I'm saying, you gotta do the big boy things, you feel me, player, but it is what it is, man, holla at your boy, man, DJ Nothing Nice, man, we in here, man, let's go, blah.